How's it going guys? Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. I have another microphone uh, video for you today, which I'm super excited to show you. I love to review microphones, audio gear. Great. I love it. So what I have for you today. So I have a microphone, which is pretty interesting in my opinion. Uh, and I don't know if you heard about this company before, Fosmon. I think it's called Fosmon. So I have the box here, as you can see. And this is the microphone that you're listening right now. This is a condenser microphone. So this microphone requires a 48 phantom power. The microphone is plugged into my SSL2 solid state logic. The phantom power is on. This microphone is uh, Cardio 8 polar pattern and unidirectional. I will demonstrate that in a minute. So I'm going to spin the microphone a couple of times just to have an idea what is the sound. Uh, the Cardio 8 polar pattern is like a heart shape. And I will demonstrate that in a minute. But uh, let's see first what comes in the box. So this microphone actually, I bought this microphone a few days ago. And this microphone is going to cost you about 22 British pounds. In my opinion, this is very good price for a XLR um, condenser microphone. But the more important is to hear how is the sound quality. I'll recommend just to use the headphones for a couple of minutes just to see what is the difference. Uh, because when you use the headphones, it's, but it, you can have a, a clear picture, a clear idea how is the sound quality. So what comes in the box? Obviously, you'll get the microphone, which is right here. Also, you'll get uh, a paper, basically all the specifications. I'm going to give you all the specifications just in a minute. But the company is called Fosmon. Uh, so this is like a user manual, as you can see here, some information. Also, you'll get a, a interesting cable here. So microphone, so it's a type A to a microphone jack and a microphone uh, 3.5 millimeter as well. I don't know if you can find a use with this uh, adapter, but maybe you can find. Also, what else we have here? We have a really nice uh, windscreen foam. Um, it's quite thick, so this is good. So it's gonna help with the plosives. I'll demonstrate that in a minute about the plosive situations. But yeah, I like this um, windscreen foam. I think it's a very good quality. And I look, yeah, it's quite thick. So this is going to help you with the plosive. So this is very good in my opinion. What else we have here? We have the cable. We have the 3.5 millimeter to XLR. We're not going to use this cable. We're going to use the normal XLR connection. But uh, it's good that they include this, but obviously you need a 48 phantom power to uh, use this microphone. If you plug this directly to your uh, computer, this will not work. What else we have? We have the shock mount. And it's nice, actually. It's white. I, I like that. Let me show you. I don't know what just happened. Uh, I didn't ask for my assistant. So yeah, this is the shock mount, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, it's a white. I love it. It's exactly the same as my one here. Generic, normal shock mounts. It's a good touch. All right, so some of the specifications of this microphone actually they are pretty similar uh, specifications that I did a few days ago. I did an another microphone a few days ago. I did the, the Zingyu BM800. And uh, pretty much they have a similar specifications. So the specifications of the Fosman microphone are... So like I mentioned, this is a Cardio 8 polo pattern and um, unidirectional, which is interesting to test now in a second 
So frequency response 20 Hertz, 20 kilohertz. Sensitivity is minus 34 dB. Impedance is 150 ohms. So pretty much this is exactly the same spec, same specifications of the microphone uh, Zingyu BM800. So, so, um, so this is the Fosmon microphone. So let's demonstrate now uh, what is the cardio eight and unidirectional? So I'm talking front of the microphone. Also, I'm checking the levels of my uh, recording. Uh, I forgot to mention the gain is uh, about eleven o'clock on my uh, SSL two. So this microphone is quite powerful, in my opinion, again, due to the 48 phantom power. This is a condenser microphone. So let's spin the microphone. Let's see what's the difference now. So I'm spinning the microphone. So this is the 90 degree and I can see some uh, volume. And this is the back of the microphone. I don't know if the sound is going to be any difference, but we'll check that. This is another 90 degrees of the microphone and this is front of the microphone. So let me know what do you think. But yeah, it says it's a cardio 8 uh, with unidirectional. So I don't know if uh, there's going to be any difference of the sound. And now let's do the, uh, let's see what is the situation with the plosives. So please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. So this is without the windscreen foam. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. So as you can see, this is going to help you, I think, with the plosive situations. And now what I'm going to do is, as usual, this is my favorite part. I don't know. I love it. I'm going to press the 4K legacy button and uh, we'll see if there's going to be any difference uh, of the sound. So let's do that now and let's press the 4K legacy button. All right, so the 4K legacy button is on and now we'll see if there's going to be any difference uh, of the sound. Uh, in my opinion, this is very good. Uh, the 4K legacy button is going to boost your sound, your voice. It's going to make it a little bit more present. And I love that. But let me know what do you think. You may not like this uh, uh, option. Um, I don't do any uh, uh, post-production, any uh, processing of the audio. I always, since I remember, since I started with my YouTube channel, I do not do uh, processing of the audio. Never. I try to use the audio as raw as possible. As you can uh, see on um, on my videos, I don't do uh, any uh, processing. But this is the 4K legacy button with the Fosman condenser microphone. So let me know what you think. Do you like the sound? If you like it, let me know in the comments down below. So let's switch the 4K legacy button off right now. All right, so the 4K legacy button is off. And I think this is pretty good. So I hope there's going to be any difference now. But as always, I'm going to be surprised as you when I check the video. But uh, let me know what do you think. This microphone is going to cost you about £22 here in the UK. I don't know if you heard about this brand before, Fosman, But um, pretty generic, normal condenser XLR microphone in my opinion. If you're on a budget, I know there's a ton of million options on Amazon price range and uh, so on. But uh, yeah, this is not a sponsored video. I um, bought this microphone a few days ago. So let me know what do you think? Do you like this microphone? Do you like the 4K legacy button uh, option with the microphone or you just like the microphone, the sound? uh let me know guys this is stefan i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash the like button and uh leave me a comment and uh if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments down below as always thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video